All right, one infamous prom picture from Baraboo, Wisconsin has turned that community upside down, as one leader put it. That photo of about 50 high schoolers appearing to give the Nazi salute while laughing has not just enraged the community, but apparently galvanized racists there as well. Just this week, racist and anti-Semitic flyers have been put up outside of a middle school there. Also a racist video released online along with a threat of violence. This photo taken on the steps of the Sauk County Courthouse in Baraboo, Wisconsin, appears to show dozens of male prom goers giving a Nazi salute. The photographer has said he asked the students to wave to their parents. One student in the photo said they are, in fact, saluting. With the truth still unclear, the photo remains and the plot thickens. The school announced it could not punish the students, citing it couldn't know the intentions of all the students, plus they're protected by the First Amendment. The district instead said it would hold a community event at the high school next week to speak about tolerance. Then on Monday, somebody or bodies posted anti-Semitic flyers at a Baraboo Middle School and an anti-Semitic video appeared on social media from the user Baraboo Arians. According to the Baraboo News Republic, the video said it was a satirical short brought to you by proud white BHS students. The paper said the video threatens to stay home December 18th. That's the day of the school assembly. How has this one photo affected that community? Well, I think anyone who has been following the story realizes it has turned our community upside down and inside out. This is Peter Vedro, chair of the Sauk County Board of Supervisors. The county seat is in Baraboo. Do you think those kids should be disciplined in some way, shape or form? We need to ensure the fact that these young people acknowledge the consequences of what has happened. And then we move towards some mechanism of making amends. Uh, I don't think, quote, punishment is the appropriate response above all else. We are not Charlottesville. We do not have young people in tiki torches and white hoods with Nazi swastikas marching down the main streets. Um, this group, whoever it is, is a very small group of uh, disgruntled people who are using this as a platform for um, highlighting their particular interests. Vedra says there's still no clarity what each student intended. He hopes this notorious cloud over Baraboo will push people to seek common ground. Yet he still worries, beyond the photo, about the moral compass of greater society today. We're not a perfect union. We recognize that. And over the last 50 years, we have done things to try to move in a more perfect direction. Currently, I think we are retrograde. We are moving backwards. So while the school did not directly punish these students, they couldn't, they said, reactions have been strong and there's been punishment of its own online, right? It's been released everywhere and there's vitriol in the community against it, wondering what to do. But there's been direct punishment to some of those kids in the picture. He said some of them have had scholarships either pulled or threatened to be pulled. There's been death threats made at some of the kids directly in the picture because with social media, you can find anybody today. Mm -hmm. So there has been punishment, but he said we need to keep going forward. So.